Thanks for messing around. Vampire Survivor's Beswick 125 continues with Megalo Impostorina tonguing everything. I'm not the imposter, and neither is Megalo Impostorina. To Moonglo we go and... No, this is nothing. Might as well get beginning, because this is really... It's Moonglow. There's nothing going on here. Other than checking off another thing on the Bezwood. The heck? Oh, right. You get it passively, don't you? I didn't get Shadow Pinion. I hit Reroll. Well, whatever. I guess I'm going Shadow Pinion. I mean, it's a strong, strong weapon now in Silent Old Sanctuary mode. And I really thought, like, Megalo Mania, it would be invincible. Because when regular Mania goes Megalo, they are invincible. Why am I saying they? I know she's a she. Because the adventure told me, otherwise I would have had no idea. The audio is too high. There we go. Yeah, I probably should have ordered a mic with my latest purchase from the store. Instead, I chose Skullomaniac. Get real close. Wear them all off at once. Tap dance. Well, full time video with, you know, the numbers and the flashing back on, so that's nice. Don't run into the Atlantean. That's a bad thing. Hey, NFT. Tap dance. Can't tap dance. What? Dang balls. Well, Minotaurs. But kind of the same thing. Minotars. Minotars. Man, it was really weird hearing that as the pronunciation when I went to a go watch Chronicles of Narnia. Minotars. It's like weird. You get so used to one pronunciation that hearing this another way just completely blows your mind. Like GIF. I will never say it as GIF. I don't care what the creator says. Gift. Cut out the T and you get GIF. Simple as that. Just like I will say game facts and not game FAQs. No, it is AFQ. AFQs. And also, that site is still around if you didn't know it. It's also kind of weird because I think it's... Like, there's a bunch of broken stuff. Because Skyrim may be Skyrim, but there's no reason it should be still on the top ten page. No. Oh, wait. Where is it? Man, sights and sore eyes of the moon glow. We wonder if that's projectile limit or time limit. Well, no, projectile limit will be stopped if they stop coming out of my boot. And I do mean boot. They come out ground level. 
There's Spellbinder. Uh-oh, Atlantean trouble. Oh, wait. Actually, isn't it really terrible to try and focus one target because of the hit delay? Oh, NFT in. I don't, does it have hit delay? It's kind of hard to tell. Especially with NFT. Uh, it does not look like it has hit delay. Oh, hey, I hit the projectile limit on him. Oh, there's my level up. It's so weird. This is probably the most obvious weapon for when you hit the projectile limit, isn't it? I guess bracelet could kind of do the same way if you're going hardcore into it. But who wants to go hardcore bracelet? Like that tier list I was talking about last video? It had Gyor Rutan up very high, and it's just like, no, Gyor Rutan's very low. Oh, that's a whole bunch of tongues, huh? Wait, am I in, like, Megalo mode, or is this just normal? Oh, is that what happens when you actually do go Megalo mode? It's not like one item, but it's like you get a bunch of phantom tongues on the back end. That would make sense. Oh, hey, the tuner. Oh, it's it is tuner. Turner. Good grief! It was even on screen. Burninating the countryside, burninating all with the eyes. Ooh, these guys are pretty durable. So let's see how fast the Turner can burn them down. They are plants. And it basically instantly, whoa. Man, the Turner really comes together in this type of challenge. Oh, might as well. I buy everything on screen. Don't worry, I still have the second round to get sharp tongue. Totally will happen. 100%. No problems about it, because it's... Whichever one is coming up. I think I'd remember after doing this for so long. Oh, there's the Atlantean. No, it's not. That is a completely different Atlantean. It's not Sun Atlantean. That is Metaglio left. Metaglio. Yes, I was totally right. It is Metaglio. And it should be a World Logan. game. Oops. Hey, more golden eggs. Get that number up. I would honestly legit say that Valkyrie Turner's Shadow Pinion Sound Old Sanctuary is one of the best weapons. Wow, I actually maxed out. That's incredible. Oh. Limit break. I mean, obviously, but still, whoa. I have to actually stop so I can actually do things. Random always. Oh, mini Atlanteans. Well, I guess these are actually full. No, wait. They're tagged as something else, aren't they? Boom. Get out here, Drowner. I have no time for your games. The water's gonna boil. And you're gonna burn. 
Alright. Oh, hey, Death. How's it hanging? 7.2 million. Yeah, beat the pants off of all those tongues. Huh, those were only sevens. But, that's the first one done. Second one's come. And right up it comes. Megalo. Green Acres, oh god. Save me, Silent Old Sanctuary. I do get this. No, I only get one Silver Tongue. Then again, it's one more weapon. Yeah, Silver Tongue only procs off of one of the hidden sharp tongues. But still, I think I should have gotten rerolls. Oh, Crown is Crown. Got multiple hats now. Empty tome, excellent. Going to be a bit slower on the draw here. Just to make sure that I don't accidentally get rid of the thing I want. Spinach is all good. And there's the sharp tongue I need. No, it says base area increases, so augment is fine. Yeah, even if it's still not great, Megalo Impostorina is a lot better. I mean, obviously, not sus, so you can totally trust them. Hey, there's my mini Impostor. Which I totally remembered and wasn't forgetting again. Alright, Tronus box, and then I guess Duplicator on the back end. Hmm. Are there early evolutions here? I mean, it should be, due to the way the stage is set. No, bullets are very dangerous. Sharp tongues, even if there's a bunch of them, are not very good at taking out bullets. And, you know, this is the last of the Among Us, so it's on to Mount Moonspell stuff. It means I get Yong and Bone Zone, won't I? Oh, good. A very strong character for that. Self healing, tons of damage. Yeah, the rest of the characters are gonna have. Terrible, terrible time. In fact, I'm probably going to get Pseudo into Whiteout, aren't I? And I had Random in Whiteout fail off-camera. Oh, boy. Uh, here I am talking about the future when the present is in front of us. Do I have a maxed out? No, I still need a mini level. Let's see if that evolves. It does, nice. Now yeah, grab that duplicator nice and quickly, hopefully. Oh, there's Pomerola instead. Hey, fire tornado, woo! Wait, why is an ashes of why isn't flames of misspell and ashes of must bowl get Gemini? They can do this too. I got three color tongues shooting out, huh? Does that mean I'm in like double megalo mode? No wait, one of them's impossible tongue, the other's sh sharp tongues in the third. Is Silver Tongue. There's Pomerola. I do believe it'll be more damage overall. And I'd want raw damage over one more shot. So that's why I get Toronis Box instead of the other things. That would do more damage. No, I suppose it doesn't matter with a level up storm. Yeah. Well, not gonna get much off of that since I just grabbed the red gem. 
Okay, this is much better than with regular arena, but still not the greatest. I mean, if Mud Men Wave are being this bad, when I get to something actually super healthy. I mean, sure, occasionally when the actual Impostor Tongue goes off, bam, you get munched. Five digit damage in this game, you're done. But, you know, 95 and 100 against these wizard men, not good. Not good at all. Wait, why are mermen surviving a hit? They're literally the starting thing on Dairy Plant. Wait, Silver Ring's here. That means there's an Atlantean. Okay, I have my passive set up. The Impostor Tongue is really good against single targets, as you can just see there with those big numbers going off. Yeah, it was like 4k. Like the stream. Wait, this isn't being streamed. And it's actually hard to tell when a damage pops out. Yeah, but that's definitely doing four digit. Yep, 4,487. So being an Atlantean will fall quick enough against that. So that's why I'm going to be not sticking around. I'm going to charge it off to get the Metaglia left so it does more damage. These are only doing like 189, 200. Not the greatest. Something big comes in, it's a problem. And that's inevitable on Green Acres. It's probably going to be giant robots, because why would it be anything but giant robots? Up nope, Starburst. Make plenty of bats. Getting taken down. You'll love to see it. You might as well just call Mago Imposter Arena Ozzy Osbourne. You know it's really weird that Adam Sandler got two movies about him playing football. Oh, and the Atlantean is down. Huh. That was way faster than I thought. Oh, hey, I cannot run it. Come on, stay away, Egg. Sure, I went to grab you, but I don't need one greed. Oh, it's nice to have some nice and easy breezy after horses nonsense. A lot of unusable footage there. Well, usable footage. I didn't want to show it. Now back to Adam Sandler as a connoisseur of comedy. Yep. Still waiting on that movie where Kevin James plays Trotsky Sandler. Nine nine. I never watched the last season of Brooklyn Nine Nine. I really should have rectified that. Man, Andre Brower Bauer dying? That's just terrible. Damn, is about to go crazy. Alright, oh, I can actually get chest stuff. So, Adam Sand learned football movies. Why did he get to? I mean, I actually watched the original The Longest Yard. I honestly prefer the remake. You know, a lot of times people are always down on remakes. You're like, oh, it's showing a lack of creativity, but it's like, whatever to me. Look, I've gone through like 20 different ideas for something recently. And I have like 
really try not to go for more. It's crazy how distracted I get with just creating random things that go nowhere. As you can see by my account of fanfiction. Yep, I totally wrote that and it went nowhere. Of course, if I kept that for more than four chapters, it probably might have done something. But, hey. Why write when I can stream video game? Also, it was never going to be popular anyway, because there wasn't enough shipping. You have a thick without shipping? Might as well not have a thick at all. Seriously, it's crazy. And I'm infected by the same disease as much as anyone else. Even if I resent it. And it is a disease, a wretched hive disease. Shame, shame, shame upon all. Now it's totally red and pink as the wolf TP. But you know, I got a soft spot for purple and orange. And the occasional red and blue side action. Now, white in anyone is just no, especially with taupe. Ugh, taupe. Look, this is the closest to Among Us I've ever played. I have no interest in the game. If I want social deduction game, I will go not play Among Us. But I don't, because I'm a secretive prick. Well, that Atlantean didn't last long. Well, just like the city. Is it 20 or 25 here? I think it's 25 based on what the Arcana did. Or heck, maybe it goes to full 30. Yeah. I think after so many runs I'd remember by now. Well, that's just one out in both eyeballs and out the brain. What even is that? Well, if I am not looking at the TV anymore, that's not good. I think I'm getting hit. It really feels like I'm getting hit. Hmm. I mean, the noise coming off the TV doesn't seem like I'm dying. I don't have the jingle of death in my ear. Am I going the right way? Hey, I can see again. Oh, right into the Metaglio. Oh, robot wave. Oh, Arcana chest. Not that far away. Should go grab a wake fly time. Nope, oh, there's a giant robot boss. I still have no idea how Mina fell to them. She was hitting th tens of thousands. A second. And yet it still wasn't enough. Uh-oh. Save me defanged cockatrices. Well, that's certainly a sentence, isn't it? Hey, wake on the first go. Awaken the Megalo Imposterina. Devour all. Show them how much you can tongue. Yay, chest. 
money. Something I am in dire need of. One day, the display cap is going to increase, and then you'll see how much money I really have. Not remotely as much as other people. But still pretty much a good amount. Yeah, just don't have any interest on going to the big gold farming. Mostly because I don't want to destroy the console. And I do do mega farming. I still got my eyes on doing the pal world stuff. Getting all those alphas. Getting all those luckies. Condensing everything down. Pal sold them up to max. By God, if I could get Blood Sail maxed with Steam Weedle at the same time, I could do that. So many dead pirates. You have no idea. No joke, probably more dead pirates than this run will end up having of kills. Okay, maybe not that much, but it is pretty close. Dang, manticores. They don't really show up all that often. They're, they're not... Well, I mean, obviously you know they're a manticore. They have a pretty short spawn period. Even if they're pretty durable, you're not going to think and curse their name. They are a pretty beefy enemy. It's not like the robots or the big bad waves. Or like all the waves of Mad Forest, which are much more omnipotent. It is 30 minutes. Well, 28.08 right now. 30 is the time for when death arrives. Are they getting bigger? That's weird. Maybe it was just the one. Thirty seconds. Yeah, Megalo is so much stronger than base. Like, not a surprise. But still, this is Green Acres. Oh, Grand Regular. Well, no. Regular had nothing difficult. Yeah, 42 million. That's much better than poor dopey hats. And the rest of the sharp tongues all kept up. And hey, silver tongue actually surpassed them all. That's probably one of the strongest Geminis outright, isn't it? But yeah, poor dumb horse had a lot of trouble. Oh. Well, next up is going to be Myong over on Bone Zone and Boss Rash. Actually should be one of the easier runs of it all because of our combination of damage and healing. So look forward to that. Or not, I can't really make you do anything. It would be really creepy if I did. Because then you wouldn't know if I'm making you watch this video of your own volition or not. Ooh. Okay, and with a resoundingly easy success, Megalo Imposterina has successfully brought us up to 178 and 179 on the Beswick. Much better than Horse's poor performance and, well, regular Imposter's poor performance as well. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Glad to have your support. Give a like if you liked the video, a dislike if you didn't, a comment if there's any builds you want me to try, and a subscription if you want to support the channel. Thanks for watching again, have a good day, and keep mezzing around.